Hej, cześć wszystkim, jest to kolejny odcinek z gry Rising. W tym momencie zaczynamy w mieście. I zdecydowałem się, że pomożemy Inkwizycji, dlatego damy pieniądze Sebastianowi. Delgado wants to extort protection money from the pawnbroker Costa. And he needs you to do it for him. Am I right? That's it. Apparently Costa's ripping off farmers. And the Don's men want some of the spoils. Yes. I had a bad feeling about Costa for a while. Delgado is desperate for gold. Without it, his own people will hang him out to dry. Then this is the chance I've been waiting for. Will you help me to deal with Delgado? What do you want me to do? Pretend to work for Delgado. And get the gold from Costa. But instead of giving it to him, give it to me. I will make sure it gets back to the proper owners. And if Delgado doesn't get Costa's gold? Will have caused a big internal row within the Don's men. Here is Costa's gold. Excellent work. I'll make sure the gold gets back into the right hands. So how do we proceed with your plan? Delgado should learn his association with Costa is over. That will add to his problems. You want me to tell Delgado? Yes. And tell him the Order has the gold. If he doesn't want trouble, He should leave Harbour Town for good. Why would Delgado leave? The Inquisitor knows what he's up to. That should be enough to make Delgado run. The Don's men always run. Besides, he also needs to explain to the Don where his takings have gone. Poor Delgado. <laughs> Will be squeezed from both sides. No cóż, wychodzi na to, że załatwiliśmy Delgado. I mniej więcej taki sam schemat odnosi się do wszystkich zadań z ludźmi Dona w tej okolicy. Mamy do wyboru pomóc ludziom z Inkwizycji i przegonić bandytów, bądź pomóc bandytom i przynieść im ich złoto. Czy przedmioty, których poszukają, poszukują. Costa has no gold to pay with. The Order has it. You gave the gold to the Order. You'd better think about getting yourself a bodyguard. What are you planning to do now? I'll have to go and explain this mess. And you can piss off back to whatever hole you crawled out of. Well, look who's come over all chatty. No cóż, Delgado nie był dla nas zbyt miły. You're going to spend your whole life hanging around. Please, take a look around. Are you looking for anything special? A pan, cast iron, or a necklace? If you're hungry, we have potatoes. We grow them ourselves. Have a look at everything I offer. Let me see your goods. Potatoes! Yay! Daj potato! Taki śmieszny żarcik był z tej... Z na YouTube taki filmik. That's a lot of different wares for a merchant. I'm not a merchant. I'm a farmer was till the ruins came lost my farm you look like another refugee word to the wise stay away from costa Cóż widać, że większości ludzi się tutaj za bardzo nie powodzi teraz. Wszyscy są trzymani w mieście, czy tego chcą czy nie. Don't just stand around. You'd better not be trying to nick anything. You should get some training. Mgłem podoba mi się klimat tego miasta. Bardzo podoba mi się jego design, to jak zostało zrobione, naprawdę. Podoba mi się nawet bardziej niż Corinis. Hey, wait a minute. Don't walk by. Try the best fish in town. This is your lucky day. Because I have one perfect Piscine offer for you. You do. Buy one fish and get a second fish completely free. Two fish for the price of one. Sounds like a good deal. You're pretty talky for someone who sells fish. Oh, 
figure the longer I keep someone talking, the more chance they have of buying some fish. I never should have bought this lousy fishmongers. I was with this wench. She said she liked fish, and then... Oh, before you know it, I've bought this thing. I mean, I don't know my herring from my halibut. And with the storms, there aren't even many fish being caught. Why don't you sell the store, then? Do you want it? Why would I want a fish stall? See? That's what I should have said to myself. But that wench was so very beautiful. Is there anything I could do to help? Well, you could find someone who wants to buy this stall. Ideally, someone who knows about fish. How much do you want to sell your stall for? Hmm. Well, including all the goods, let's say 300 gold pieces. I'll find you a buyer for your stall. Wonderful! Might be handy if you look for someone who is drunk, or crazy, or loves fish. I'll keep that in mind. I have faith in you, my friend. Here, have a shark steak on the house. No cóż, jak widać, go koleś kupił sobie stoisko rybne, a tak naprawdę nie zna się w ogóle na rybach. No cóż, zdarza się. Hey. Hello, I'm Finn. You don't happen to have any work to offer? No, I don't. Drat. I've combed every corner of this place. This town. There are so many people here now, and they all want jobs. Even Flavio can't give me work. What sort of work do you do? Anything. Anything. Do you want to buy a fish stall? No, thanks. I'm a farmer. What I know about fish, you could write on the side of a sprat. Someone in the harbour might be interested, though. What can you tell me about Flavio? People say Belshaw is the only man doing something for the farmers. But Flavio has given work to lots of people. Has. But that's changed. Yeah. The warehouse is empty. And he had to get rid of most of us. I'm not listening. Hmm. Więc wychodzi na to, że miasto jest w naprawdę sporych problemach. Bo nie ma kto zatrudniać robotników. Do tego miasto jest podzielone na dwie strefy. Na strefę ludzi Dona i strefę innych, więc... No nie jest to zbyt ciekawa sytuacja. Welcome, welcome. I am Flavio the merchant. Hello, Flavio the merchant. I bet you're looking for work. I can't give you any. You'll have to try somewhere else. What do you sell here? Hunting trophies. Skins, claws and teeth are my business. I pay for good catches. I'll even provide you with new arrows. Well, I used to. I need a few things. Co my tu mam? Nic konkretnego. Widzicie, mam już całkiem sporo złota. You don't have any work to offer? Since the town gates have been closed, my hunters can't get out. So there is no more hunting, no hunting, no catch, no gold. We all just have to tighten our belts. Do you have any jobs that can be done in the town? Uh, well, there's one thing. We all could really use a delivery of meat. Where does it need to go? Master Belcho needs it. You just have to get the meat from the slaughterhouse. I've already talked to Baxter down there, but he wants ten skins before he'll hand over any meat. So you want me to find these skins? If you manage that, then at least we'll have some meat. Don't you have any skins? After all, you deal in them. No, my stores are empty. The Don's men have helped themselves too many times. My boys, Pavel or Cole, might have a lead. Maybe they know something. Okay, I'll find these skins for you. Thanks. Five boar skins and five wolf skins. And take them to Baxter. Once you have the meat, take that to Master Belshaw. 
What's in it for me if I come up with the skins? You want to be paid for your work. I don't have much. I can offer a few arrows and you'll make some friends. No cóż, nie pozostaje nam nic innego jak popracować dla Flavio. Co ty nam powiesz tutaj, Pawle? Hey, what do you want? I haven't done anything. That's quite a guilty conscience. No, I just, I thought, um, thought what? That you were one of the people who doesn't want us outsiders here. They say we're thieves, but we aren't. The Don's rabble are the thieves. Do you know where I can get some skins? I don't have any. I can't get any either. But some citizens have decorated their houses with skins. Just saying, in case you wanted any. Yeah, that'd be stealing though. Well, there aren't a lot of wolves and boars to hunt in town. And if you haven't brought any skins with you, all you can do is check with the merchants. Oh, and the slaughterhouse might have some left. Już. Porozglądajmy się po okolicy. Może będzie jeszcze jakieś inne zadanie pomijając te skóry. You look like you're from the monastery. Yes. I am novice you. I assist Master Belshaw. What exactly happens up there at the monastery? Normally the monastery is a place of peace and knowledge. But now the Inquisition has taken up residence, it has become a place to train recruits. How do they decide if someone becomes a recruit or a novice? Most take the path of the recruit. They are trained to become a warrior of the order. This requires them to learn the high art of staff fighting and the basic principles of magic. To tread the path of magic, you must prove yourself to the order. Then you may be given the choice to become a novice. As a novice, you learn staff fighting, but only enough to defend oneself. After that, you focus on real study, the art of the mage. If you wish to become a novice, then you should spend time with Master Belshaw. How did you become a novice? I volunteered. Master Belshaw said I have what it takes and gave me his blessing. After I convinced Commandant Carlos of my worth, I was allowed to go to the monastery to begin training. One day, I will be a powerful mage, a master of the order. Hmm. Interesująca historyjka. Widzisz, jakaś taką kapliczkę mamy. After somewhere peaceful. I'm cold, by the way. Is this a place of prayer? This is the shrine of the Holy Flame, a place of calm in a violent, lawless world. And you're here to pray? Yes. I pray that this will all be over and I can go back to being a hunter. Do you know where I can get skins? Skins? It's hard to get much of anything in town, but I hear Baxter swaps his meat for skins, if you have enough. That's why I'm here. Do you have skins? I still have one. You can have it. Thanks. How can I get hold of more? Haven't a clue. Parvel might, though. He is, uh, well, was a hunter too. In good times, we were never short of skins. Nie będę tutaj się z nimi za bardzo rozgadywał, pomijając to, co muszę. W każdym razie musimy zdobyć 15 skór, 10 wilka, 5 dzika. 10 skór wilka już mamy, teraz pozostały tylko te skóry dzika do zdobycia. Co tu Flavio trzyma w kredensie? To miasto z okułem lepiej zaprojektowane, niżeli nawet to Korini z Gotika. Coś my tutaj znaleźli. Szczypce do szczęk. Kater oraz kogo my tutaj mamy? Wilka. Hey, new in town. 
gold burning a hole in your pocket? In the market for a valuable artifact? Yeah, of course you are. Unlucky you ran into me, because I got the very thing. What sort of artifact are you selling? Some kind of large golden bowl. You need something golden bowl shaped? This'll be perfect. And it's yours for just 150 gold. Yeah. Who are you? Name's Dirk. I'm an acquirer of rare and valuable items. A treasure seeker. Just like my brothers. Runs in the family, you could say. So you don't work alone? Alf, Dider, and little old me. Triplets. Triplets? Thanks for the warning. Handlarze artefaktów. To interesujące. A customer. Welcome. What can I get you? A drink? Of course. So you and your brothers are traveling separately. Easier to find work that way. Although I've not seen Dider for days. I heard rumors Alf was being held prisoner in the merchant's district. No idea if that's true. He don't seem too bothered. Well, if it is true, he can handle himself. Toughest of the three of us he is. I'll see if I can help Ulf. He can handle himself. But if you're going that direction... Why not? Then I suppose it couldn't hurt. So you trade artifacts then? Not much getting in and out of Harbor Town. People gotta make a living any way they can. Most of those ways. Well, you wouldn't write home to your ma about him. Alf's off looking for work until things pick up. I just want to get back to the ruins again. Good. Nie będziemy teraz od niego tego kupować, bo to obecnie byłoby marnotrawstwo pieniędzy. Jednak później myślę, że być może nawet kupimy tę misję, bo będzie z czymś związana. There's a face I don't recognize. Don't go wandering outside the gutters if you want to stay safe. You're a town guard. Damn right. So that means around here, the law is what I say it is. Stay in the gutters and stay out of trouble. Can you train me? Sure. I could do with a bit of amusement. It'll cost you though. I want to improve my. Nic interesującego. Why are there only a few guards about? We are the town's first line of defense, so we were the first people sent to those ruins when they sprang up. Most didn't come back, or if they did, they were in bad shape. That was before Mendoza and his Inquisition turned up. Now it's his men that go into those ruins, and let me tell you, that's fine by me. Cóż, odkryliśmy kolejnego nauczyciela, od którego nic się właściwie obecnie nie nauczymy. A szkoda, bo mog moglibyśmy się czegoś nauczyć w końcu. This lock is too difficult. Hmm. Coś mi to przypomina. W Gotiku też można było wskakiwać na dachy w pewnym miejscu, co nam pozwalało na znajdywanie dosyć ciekawych przedmiotów prędzej czy później. Chyba takie drobne odniesienie, że tak łatwo i tutaj wskoczyć na dach. Dobra, byliśmy już tam, to teraz zejdźmy sobie tutaj. Come to see me, have you? I need a map of the island. Why? Surely you've heard it's illegal to leave the town. I have. Well, I'll draw you a map if you want. You could use it for decoration. Akurat mamy mapę wyspy. How much do you want for the map? It'll be a fair price. I'll let you know when it's completed. How long will that be? A good map can't be hurried. Especially these days when the terrain itself keeps changing. But for anyone who knows how to get out of the town, my map would be very useful. Czy czuję, że jego mapa będzie ciut bardziej dokładna niż to, co mamy obecnie? Hey, they call me Sid. I hope you're not some faceless minion of the Order. Oczywiście, że nie. What do you know about the Order? The Order locks us in the town like cattle and drags men off to the monastery. Take Rodriguez, a good man, reliable. And now, they did something to his mind up at the monastery. They got to him. Now he's just a tool of the Inquisitor. 
It's evil, stirring people's brains around like that. Do you need help? It's Rodriguez. He's out to get me. He's part of the Order. You're on my side, so do me a favor. Find out what he's planning and tell me. What was Rodriguez before? He was a decent, honest thief. Salt of the earth. They caught him outside looting. Poor fool guards the slaughterhouse by the harbor for the order now. Dobra, jako że poznaliśmy w sumie kogoś, kto, jakby to powiedzieć, kogoś, komu będziemy mogli pomóc, tutaj mam mianowicie Rodriguez'a. Już dowiedzieliśmy się, że, że Cid ma, Cid, Cid, nieważne, ma z nim na pieńku. Założę się, że nie tylko on, ale i spora inna większość bandytów. Do tego dowiedzieliśmy się, że przesiadują w mieście trojaczki, które też mają niezłe kłopoty. I kto będzie tym, kto im wszystkim pomoże? Oczywiście my. Ale to już w następnym odcinku. Zapraszam Was do lajkowania i oglądania kolejnych odcinków. Cześć.